Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When Access opens, it displays a window which allows you to create a new blank or empty database or create a database from one of the templates shown. Now once you create a database, you will then see the main user interface, which is where you will actually design your database. In Access, unlike many other Microsoft applications, you have three different areas in which you'll perform tasks. First, there's the application window, which is the outer frame of the program that contains the ribbon, which is used to execute commands, the navigation pane, which displays all of the various objects in the database, and the tabbed documents area, where you create, display, and edit the database objects in their own separate tabbed windows. Now inside of the main application window, you'll see the navigation pane at the left side of the application. As you select objects from the navigation pane to open and edit them, they will appear in their own window to the right. Now the application window consists of the quick access toolbar, the ribbon, and the status bar at the bottom of the application. The navigation pane simply organizes and displays the various objects that have been created in the database. If you created a blank database, then you will not have any objects in your database yet, other than the new blank table that opens by default when you create a new blank database in Access. You can change the way that the navigation pane organizes and displays database objects, however we'll cover that in a separate lesson. For now, it's just enough to understand what this object is called and what its purpose is within the program. Now, each object that you open or edit from within the navigation pane will appear in its own tabbed window to the right. In each tab, you'll see the object's name. The type of object shown is indicated by the small icon next to the name in the tab. You can click on the tabs of the objects that you have opened in order to display their content. You can close any currently displayed tabbed window by clicking the small x at the right end of the open tabbed documents. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.